Magic Transitions is an AI-powered plugin designed to create seamless professional transitions effortlessly. It instantly detects and masks the main object in your scenes in real time, eliminating the need for manual tracking. This allows you to blend shots with stunning, fully customizable animations in seconds. The plugin is versatile and works with any aspect ratio, including vertical, square, and widescreen formats, making it perfect for content creation across different platforms. Magic Transitions is compatible with Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Motion, and from now also with DaVinci Resolve, which we will cover in this video. Before applying the transition, make sure your footage overlaps slightly on the timeline by dragging one clip over the other. To add the transition effect, find it under Open FX, FX Factory, Transitions, then drag and drop it between the two clips. The first step after applying the transitions is to check the mask. In most cases, when there is a clear object in the frame, it is detected instantly and accurately requiring only minor adjustments to the mask parameters to achieve a perfect look. In our case, the mask looks good right out of the box, but I will shrink and blur the mask slightly to make the edges look seamless. If the object is too small, it might not be detected. In such cases, manual object selection can help. To use it, enable the on-screen controls. You can do this by opening the overlay settings and turning on the Open FX overlay. Despite being called manual, this process is still automated. We simply define the area on the screen where the AI object detection should operate. You need to ensure that the object remains highlighted in green throughout the entire transition. Once we're finished, we switch on this checkbox. Manual object selection is also useful when the mask in auto mode covers more than intended, like in this example, where a person was included in the mask output. If the subject in the frame is a person, you might consider switching to another object detection method called person. This method can sometimes work better for fine details, like masking hair, but only if you have a steady, clear shot. In most other situations, the default masking method will deliver better results, even for masking people. You can also disable object detection and use these transitions as regular ones without object masking. Now that the mask is adjusted to the footage, if we want to switch to another preset, we don't need to readjust the mask again we can press Browse to select another transition preset or use a quick menu to switch presets without losing mask configuration. This change will not affect the initial mask adjustments. You can also customize and tweak a wide range of parameters for the look and animation and save your presets to share or use later. Now, let's take a look at the parameters you can edit. In addition to object detection, there are four more sections to explore camera animation, background animation, object animation, and object effects. For the camera, you can adjust the animation timing. The animation function, also known as easing. The center for camera movement, which can also be adjusted using on-screen controls. The zoom level, zoom blur, object focus, which blurs the background, rotation, and shake. Additionally, the camera settings include the match exposure feature, it helps create smoother transitions between clips with different lighting conditions. It adjusts the exposure and saturation of both clips so that at the peak of the transition, when both the object and background are visible, their exposure levels match as closely as possible. The exposure match time parameter defines the exact moment when the exposures align, while the other four parameters control the specific values at that point. By fine-tuning these settings, Transitions between differently lit shots can feel more cohesive and natural. Let's return to our example and explore the remaining settings. The next section is background animation. Here, you can choose which clip to animate. Clip A, which animates out, or clip B, which animates in. If you select clip B, additional parameters become available for customizing the style of the area below the object. Similar to the camera settings, 
This section includes options for timing, easing, and animation style. When you change the animation style, additional parameters related to that style will appear. An on-screen point control may also become available. The next section covers object animation, which functions similarly to background animation, so we'll skip ahead to the effects section. Effects can be enabled by checking their respective boxes, and multiple effects can be active simultaneously. When an effect is enabled, its parameters will become available for customization. All effects include an out animation to ensure a seamless look for the transitions. As we mentioned earlier, by combining effects, animations, and adjusting their parameters, you can create unique configurations, essentially crafting entirely new transitions that you can save and use later. And that's it. Now you know how to use magic transitions to create stunning transitions with ease. Don't forget to explore all the presets and customization options to make your edits truly unique. Thanks for watching and happy editing.